हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम राजा मोहम्मद टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द बेसिक स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ ट्यूरिंग मशीन एज वी हैड डिस्कस्ड फ्यू थिंग्स इन द क्लासरूम रिगार्डिंग ट्यूरिंग मशीन वंस अगेन आई वुड लाइक टू स्ट्रेस फ्यू पॉइंट्स अबाउट ट्यूरिंग मशीन दैट there will be an input tape and also an output tape and the assumption is made as if the, the the tape is infinite in length so where the input tape will be having elements stored in successive order locations which can be read or even if we wish we can write something into it and the tape will be having a read write head which will be moving in either way as you could see clearly here at the now first element second element that means starting from a1 a2 a3 and it goes on and this is the what is a control that is a read write control which is going to move in either way so now say starting from the exclamation mark that means first uh, first starting point until it reaches the last end okay fine so the tape goes up to certain limit up to which input elements can be stored right fine then what for the turing machine is used turing machine is a computational device right so which is used as an what is a abstraction for uh, computing to be performed in modern day computing devices such as laptop or desktop or even in uh, smart mobile phones etc so assume we have data stored in a disk that means hard, that could be hard disk or usb or anything when i say if it is a case of a hard disk hard disk will have read write head uh, and will also have array of disks now you want to read a file the file may be stored inside the hard disk that is what we know but how exactly it identifies the file's location and how it reads data from that specific location so these things are controlled internally by what is a operating system operating system works operating system internal matters happening according to the model described in a turing machine say the operating system instructs the read write head to point to a particular location and start reading the content and when you see the hard disk moving uh, now uh, disks rotating at uh, what is a higher speed it the read write header must locate the exact position right so here you assume you have input alphabet to be read say for example here you have a b uh, uh, to be assumed as uh, input alphabet and beta the tape symbol is as a you know, uses blank capital b represents blank here assume in the hard disk you have data stored say for example a a b a and the read write header starts from the exclamation mark that initial starting position the output will be like when a is read will be replaced with beta similarly for the next symbol also it will be replaced once it encounters a blank symbol encounters the first blank symbol on the right hand side it comes back to the exclamation mark and halts so this will be done repeatedly for reading the elements and erasing and replacing it with beta that means when an input alphabet such as a or b read or written by a read read header it will be replaced by beta so that next time we won't be reading the same thing again then here the same operation is stored in and as a displayed in the form of an uh, what is a finite state diagram it starts checks for the exclamation mark and if a or b is there replaced with beta and it still it reads to the right side by erasing them and when it reach when it reads the first blank symbol it goes back to the you know, goes to the back side that means towards the left hand side and if it encounters any beta it goes back when it encounters the last exclamation mark it says that it is almost done and goes into halt state so this is how erasing read write operation as well as erasing is done in a 
final state storing machine. So a Turing machine has to perform uh, right side movement as well as left side movement. Uh, right shifting, the non-empty binary string is shown here. Say for example, input string is 1011. There is no starting exclamation mark and there is no end. So we need to put an exclamation mark so that it can be added to the left extreme end of the input. So it reads in a similar way what you know we discussed uh, a few minutes back. It starts with 1 and replaces with x and, and, one, and a 0 with the y. So this can be this can be what to say uh, configured in a uh, uh, configured for any Turing machine. Here you see you know, uh, to read each and every symbol we have states like you know, x and y. So x uh, says what the tape content to the left of the read right head. That means uh, when you are reading from uh, when you are reading the content from a tape from left from the left side. And y similarly denotes the remaining non-blank part of the uh, what is it tape. Non-blank in the sense you have data to be read but it will be done in a step by step manner. And you could see here it starts with 1 and then goes to the right hand side with exclamation mark now replaced with exclamation mark now 0 is there 0 1 1 is there that means exclamation mark dot 0 1 1 that is state m1 that means it, it moves to the right side and then when it reads 0 you know at reading 0 and m1 it goes to m0 likewise you know the input will be read and replaced when it reaches the blank symbol it stops there so it's switching between m1 to m0 that means mode 1 to mode 0 and mode 0 to mode 1 and when it reaches the last blank symbol it starts reading the, the other way that means uh, earlier it was left to right now it will become right to left and then halts. So here the corresponding state diagram for the what is a right shifting of Turing machine is shown here. And here this is a uh, sequence uh, uh, now what to say of a Turing machine to copy a content from one specific uh, track to another track. Here you could see here well, first it is reading uh, what is a uh, symbols to be read and copies them into some, uh, some other location and then again marks all the all of them with the states and then looks for the last symbol if so it starts reading in the reverse order and copying uh, copying all the elements again back to the uh, what is a new location. And the corresponding state diagram for copying uh, contents from one location to another location. So this is not just only for removing one single element, rather this can be implemented for copying multiple number of uh, uh, what is a cells or even multiple number of uh, tracks and so on. So even uh, to find the leftmost occurrence of a, a matching string in matching string that means small x in a master string y. Here this is a problem uh, where, uh, where we are matching one string and replacing with the other string. So this here 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 you can see uh, the input is as a what to say match string that is x and a master string y that means say for example master string y means he is a good guy where I need to look for good uh, uh, good as a string and, uh, and it has to be replaced with very good. So you have a string which is re, you, know, you have a string in which a word is found out and it is replaced by another word given by user. Similarly, we can you know, what to say implement for uh, uh, what to say uh, implement the same thing when we have a complete string uh, which is partially matching which we will discuss in the next class. Thank you.